when I was 13 years old and in seventh grade, I started experiencing all this tingling and numbness. And at first it just happened once. And then six months later, it happened again. And it started happening a little bit more frequently. No one could really figure out what it was. And so this entire time, you know, like tingling and numbness are pretty classic neurological symptoms. No one had thought, well, maybe this kid needs an MRI. Maybe there's something going on in their brain here. And so I go and have the MRI. And a couple hours later, my mom gets a call. So uh, we're gonna need you to come back in again tomorrow. So I went back in the next day. It turned out that there was a brain tumor. I was told that the tumor was inoperable. And it turned out that the first time around, whoever had looked at the scan was wrong in saying that it was inoperable. And all the different doctors that I saw told me that I would need to prepare for a completely different life where I would be pretty much lucky if I was talking at all and that it was going to be really difficult. Then I started to do some research and I found Dr. Mitchell Berger at the University of California, San Francisco. So I sent him an email asking, will you take my case? Who should I send my reports to? Instead of addressing any of that information, he just responded with a question and asked, are you right or left-handed? You know, no one had ever responded like that. Any of the doctors, they would just say, contact my secretary. I responded and I said, right-handed. And he said the reason why he asked is because the tumor was in my left insula, which is the area very close to the BRCA's area that essentially controls speech and language function. He told me that this area, this insula, this is what he operates on like every day of the week. He is going to reassure me that I'm going to come out of surgery talking. When all these other doctors were telling me, you really need to prepare for this completely different way of life. It's going to be really tough. And Dr. Berger is telling me, don't worry about it. I've got this. Naturally, I chose to have surgery with Dr. Berger and I woke up still talking. It was incredible. I volunteer at Curtin Children's Hospital through Banner Desert Medical Center. I volunteer in the schoolroom and through the Child Life Department. Very recently, I went in and introduced myself to a patient and I brought a bunch of board games with me. This patient was a teenager. I asked the patient if they wanted to play some games. And so after we played Jenga, we played Sorry, and you know, she was laughing, she was laughing, and afterwards she looked at me and she said, you know, I never thought you could have fun in the hospital before, but you changed that for me. I decided that I was gonna go to Arizona State University and become a child life specialist with that. I could be that person for kids in the hospital that I wished that I had for myself when I was in the hospital.